as you probably start to feel, the infinity plays a very special role in complex analysis, unlike its role in real calculus. Though the variety of infinitely distant points form a circle in a complex plane, sometimes we say that we Laurent expand near infinity, or we introduce a pole or residue at infinity. Essentially, sometimes infinity behaves like a regular point of a complex plane. Bernhard Riemann was the first who introduced a nice geometrical interpretation of this observation. Let us put a sphere on a complex plane. Now it's more known as a Riemann sphere. Then every point of a complex plane can be projected onto the sphere with the help of so-called stereographic projection. We connect a particular point on a complex plane with the north pole of a sphere with the help of a straight line. And then the intersection of this line with the sphere is the image of a particular point in a complex plane on a sphere. Now it's obvious that every point of a complex plane has a unique projection onto a sphere. And the reverse is almost true, with the only exception of the North Pole. Because if you think a little bit, then you'll understand that the infinitesimal circle around the North Pole on a Riemann sphere is a projection of an infinite circle in a complex plane. So to make this correspondence true one-to-one, -one, we add an additional point to a complex plane, which we call infinity. And the image of this point on a sphere is a North Pole of a sphere. Number z equals infinity doesn't take part in arithmetic calculations like an ordinary complex number. But they say that the sequence zn converges to infinity if for any positive number m there is number n node such that the modulus of zn is greater than m. This terminology is justified because the stereographic projection of the sequence onto a Riemann sphere does converge to the North Pole. A complex plane with an addition of infinitely distant point is called an extended complex plane. It is equivalent to the sphere, or the topologist would say that the two objects are diffeomorphic manifolds. The extended complex plane is therefore compact. As a function on a complex plane is understood as a mapping between two complex planes, the function on extended complex plane is understood as a mapping between two Riemann spheres. In this way, such a concept as an infinite limit of a function doesn't look so unusual anymore. And indeed, it simply means that the corresponding value of our function is position on the north pole of a sphere of its values. It's not hard to prove that the circle on a plane becomes a circle on a Riemann sphere. Also, any line on a complex plane is projected onto a circle on a Riemann sphere, and the latter is almost obvious. Indeed, to see this, let's draw a plane through a line on a complex plane and the north pole of a sphere. Then the intersection of this plane with the Riemann sphere forms a projection of a line on a Riemann sphere. But on the other hand, the intersection of a plane with a sphere is always a circle. In fact, there is a beautiful demonstration of these observations. Um, suppose we have a collection of rings, made of wire, that are positioned on a sphere intersecting at its north pole. As projection lines, we may use an ordinary point-like source of light. And here it is. Now let's talk a little bit more about the similarity of topology of a Riemann sphere and a complex plane. The neighborhood of infinity in a complex plane is understood as a, an exterior of a circle of radius r. So the equation is the modulus of z is greater than r. But if you make a projection of this region onto a Riemann sphere, you will immediately see that it is an interior of a circle surrounding the North Pole. All other definitions of limits, connectedness are translated onto a Riemann sphere without any change. This way, the Riemann sphere is a very useful geometrical object, which is nice to work with when you deal with infinities in a complex plane. Though we won't use it much in our course, in differential geometry or algebraic topology it has many beautiful applications.